Welcome. Thank you for watching this video presented by Cost Store Fixtures. Questions should be emailed to coststorefixtures at outlook.com. This application uses the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet program. Microsoft and Excel are trademarks and property of Microsoft Corporation. A Microsoft Corporation license is required to use the Excel program. The instruction example covers foundation principles and demonstrates the process by calculating the cost of a pedestal fixture step by step. Each instruction example consists of a macro button and a cell comment. To read the text of the macro before clicking the button, hover over the cell to the right of the button and the text of the macro is displayed. Complete the instruction example to develop an understanding and proficiency at preparing a cost workup. The instructions example is on the instruction sheet. The instruction sheet is the window currently displayed. The example starts at row 157. To get to the example, click the fourth button labeled B period 000 example cost workup pedestal. The focus of step one of the three steps is on the principles of this process and how to enter dimensions on the single project dimensions sheet. Example item 1.2.12. Input fixture overall height of section in cell S28. This is the third instructions example of how the dimensions are entered on the project dimension sheet. In the regular use of the dimension buttons on the elevation sheet. When you click a button, you are prompted to enter all five dimension numbers. In the instructions example, each of the five entries is done separately. All instructions examples that begin with input are macros that switch to the project dimension sheet and place the cursor in the cell in which the entry is to be made. Exit the macro after reading the message by clicking the OK button. Enter the amount specified by the macro. Section height refers to the feature you are now entering. Because overall includes every component, the section height is the same as the accumulated height. Component height is a better description than section height. In cell S28, enter the dimension 46 inches. After entering the height of section, return to the instruction sheet by selecting the tab to the left along the bottom of the window. This example 1.2.12 is completed. Continue the instructions example by clicking item 1.2.13.